and this question is given that heat is flowing through a rod of length 50 centimeter and area of cross section 5 centimeter square it is uh, ends are respectively at 25 and uh, 125 degrees celsius the coefficient of thermal conductivity of material of rod is given as 0 0.92 kilo calorie per meter per second per degree celsius temperature gradient of rod is so we know that if you are considering a rod of length l cross-sectional area take it as nothing but uh, a and if you are maintaining some temperature difference it across its ends let's say that is delta t so there will be a flow of heat energy and we know the value of uh, rate of flow of heat energy dq by dt we can find out by using this equation that is ka delta t divided by l so over here this term delta t by l is known as the but it's temperature gradient so you can write the value of temperature gradient is delta t divided by l and you can in observe in question that the value of difference in temperature and uh, length is given so no need for any other uh, values over here so delta t is nothing but 125 minus 25 difference in temperature divided by length of rod is given as nothing but uh, 50 centimeter so we can write uh, the answer is also uh, like uh, given in degree celsius as well as in centimeter so let's say if you are going to find out the answer in uh, uh, like uh, centimeter so we can directly write 50 so we can get we'll get the answer as something but 125 minus 25 which we can take it as 100 divided by 50 so we can write this is equal to nothing but 2 degree celsius a difference for per centimeter so if you are writing the answer in centimeter like that if you would like to write the answer in terms of meter so we can write this difference in temperature is 100 divided by distance we can take it as nothing but 0 0.5 so if you're writing in meter then you will get the answer as nothing but uh, 200 uh, degree celsius difference for uh, length of uh, one meter so according to the given options you can say that two degree celsius per centimeter is the correct answer